spike scam. Four mags to the moon. What is this sideboard? Alright, whatever. Let's roll with it. It's the most spike sideboard I've ever seen. Snap O2. Maybe. Immediately playing as Mill. Zeriak, loving every moment of this right now. Imagine if this were like a Blood Moon instead. No gas, though. Of course, this was like a Blood Moon, not a Mayhem Devil. Cracks it. I'll get pinged. Ping, nerd. <laughs> Take that one damage. We're going to attack with both, and then we're going to surprise him with the fetch land. And be like, ah, block Ragavan. I get to fetch, ping, kill the crab. Caught him off guard. Boy Visions draw three. Oh, I drew the Blood Ghast. Okay. I guess I can go Spyro, discard the Blood Ghast, draw into a land. I think that's going to kill me. Psych 11 cards. Oh, that was not good for them. Village Rights. Is there a way I can give this Blood Ghast haste? Attack for 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Is that right? 9? If I can give this haste, I can win. So. Okay, okay, I have an idea. I have an idea. Play the Blood Ghast. I sacrifice it to village rights. I draw a fetch land. And that kills them. And the blood gas gets haste. I don't even need to have a fetchable here. Okay. Let's get these magus of the moons in. I don't understand this unlucky with this. MTG bot's still down. It's probably going to be down all day. Easy in, easy out. Dim your list here. You're cold. Don't be cold. Ah, burnt. Thank you so much for the five gifties. Appreciate that, friendo. Shaka, Johnny, Stokey, Ginge, Nora. Welcome. Easy dodge. Oh, that wasn't Ember Cool on the sideboard, you're right. I just missed it. Yeah, I should have brought in the Ember Cool. I had the tech for this matchup, and I just didn't even bring it in. Aw, he's an idiot. That's okay. Bring it in for the next game, if there is one. Snaring bridge, go for the throat. Giga Chad, yeah, didn't bring it in. <laughs> we will not be fetching for a while. Yes, bombardment go. Need to mill more blood guests. Yeah, I forgot that all the spike sticks have an ember cool them. So I should just be like taking advantage of that. Damn, I really didn't hit another blood gas, huh? Jace? Chachache? Chachache. I don't know if you want to do that on the blood gas. 
more blood gas than the boon. Probably gonna uh, have to attack Jace here. A second Goblin Bombardment, which has the worst diminishing returns of all time. I didn't even hit another Blood Guest. There's another Blood Guest. Crab. Yeah, I should have played Dwarven Mind for extra sack. Faint and death. Embercool, save us. Wait a minute. I did break it in. No! Hope I still have another fetchable. And I was an idiot and I forgot to bring it in. I feel like they are helping me here. I guess they wanted to help me. They're like, this guy needs some charity. He didn't bring an Emmer cool against me. Well, they did mill my other lands, so maybe not. Alright, fine. I'm gonna hit you. And feign death this rock of on and then sacrifice to kill the Jace. Did to like any mill spell? Alright. I'll bring the Ember Cool. He tested positive for COVID. Damn. Sorry, man. That sucks. Yeah, I forgot to bring in the Ember Cool like an idiot. That's okay. It's in there now for game three, and they won't expect it. So I have four blood guests, and I didn't know in like the top 40. Kind of wild. I think we can do better. Is this better? I guess. <laughs> Put back one of the three Magus of the Boons. It's a Magus party. They played a basic island. I guess I know about Magus the Moon now. So it gets a lot worse. I need another land. How many lands are in this build? Spike. 19 plus Malakirs. Now they fatal push to Blood Guest. So they're gonna surgical it. Smelled three lands. I'm gonna listen to some Elder Scrolls lo lo-fi after this. I think this playlist is gonna be over in like. 10 minutes. Just want to hit a land drop so I can magus them. Alright, this is how I die. Having a handful of three drops and no third land. I guess that's something. Or not. Or I guess not.
May I shuffle? I may shuffle. The game continues. Tichache. Sure. I need a fury so badly. They didn't bring in the cards to answer for game three. Oh, they definitely did. Definitely did. I gotta do one, then three. Okay, your turn. I might actually win this game because of the Emmer Cool. Devil? Indeed, Poppy. Indeed. Kind of surprised they don't have an answer. They have no Drown in the Lock. Is their hand like only lands? Oops, all lands. I don't know if I use Rogobon very highly. I can just sack it. Tomb? Hold up, tomb cooking? Can I kill them? One, two, three, two. Undying, crack. No, I'm gonna kill this crab though. I don't think I can kill them. Re maybe. I plan that out a little bit better. Can't show them our ace yet, I don't think. As long as I don't kill Mayhem Devil. This tomb. <laughs> this tomb's our ace. Murderous cut, huh? Two, three, four, five, six. We gotta kill him the way Spike intended. Excellent. Sacrifice all of my lands. I'm gonna keep this hand, but it's so bad. Fuck it. We're gonna keep it. Yeah, we lulled them into a false sense of security, and we got them. They're mulliganing to six. Alright, which elemental are we going to scam in village rights? No idea. Really depends on what they do. It's quote-unquote scamming. Not really scamming. It's mostly cycling. Turns the elementals into a one-for-one, one, which is kind of nice. They're playing coffers. I think they might be playing coffers. Or they're playing scam. It's coffers. The Goblin Bombardment and the Unlucky Witness and Pez. Well, your next end step, I, it's a Spike's list. I told Spike I'd play it. Yeah, it's a modern deck, so yes. Suspend Profane Tutor. My time here is ticking. My god, the tomb. 4-1 in the 5-0. Mill is very hit or miss. It all depends on how prepared your opponent is for it. I always play against coffers. 
And I tried to tell DT too. I was like, everybody's going to be playing coffers now that Mangu played coffers. And DT was like, nah, nobody's going to be playing coffers. Well, here we are. Mm hmm. As long as they don't sweep me this turn, I think they might be dead. It's the tomb four. You sacrifice all your lands, you get five mayhem devil triggers. Oh, they're losing more life? I think they're dead. I haven't done the math. I feel like they might die. Especially if I draw a black spell. And they're very dead. Alright, grief you. Let me peep this hand. Clean the dust, invoke despair, Karn, shield your edict. I will take the Karn. And I will bonk you. Alright, killed him by two. That's pretty sweet. Um, Coffers, huh? I'm killing people with this Tomb of Amori card. Urami. I'm gonna keep calling it Amori, though. I don't think I want anything else. My list, talking about mill plays, almost all four, so it's actually pretty consistent. Well, I'm not saying that the deck's inconsistent. I'm saying that that deck's success relies on how prepared the opponent is. If the opponent's prepared for mill, it doesn't matter how consistent or how well you draw, you're going to get dunked on. And that's just the nature of mill. If you're a deck with a bunch of endurances and emercools, you're just never going to win. Captain Mulligan this in. Seems too slow. This one's much better. About to play this card in scam. <laughs> yeah, one elixir of mortality. And you're like, well, that's fun while it lasted. I'm gonna kill my Emrakul. I mean, my, uh, hey, that's my Emrakul, my Ragavan. Soundtrack, this is Lo Fi Oblivion. I'll post it. Mayhem Devil. And you got another red source here. Taking so much damage from my own mana base. Kind of surprised they left in Night's Whisper against the deck that just tries to ping him to death. It's kind of funny. Like, hmm, this deck is trying to ping me to death one at a time. That's fine. Nice whisper. Even if they have a sweeper here, Blood Yes still gets to come back, so I think I'm happy just running it out right now. They need, like, Damnation. If they have Invoked Despair, I'm sacking a singular token. Which I'm not worried about. Karn. What was it getting with Karn? As long as it's not like... Oh. That was a good draw. Attack Karn, attack Karn, attack you, attack you, attack you. I'm attacking over here. Then I'm going to grief him. Take your damnation. I drew a coffers, which doesn't produce mana. I guess it does. Yeah, it puts them up to five mana. So they could invoke me. Then they'll die. They could march. They probably have to march. And like hope. Yeah, modern staple invoke despair. 
This is just really a classic modern matchup. Offers versus Racto Sack. You may not like it, but this is what peak modern looks like. Imagine if Coffers played good cards. We don't do that here. Yeah, they're going to march, pitching, invoke despair. Alright. Spewed a lot of cards for that turn. Down to five. I think I'm just gonna magus them. To the moon. So they have what? Karn, Karn in hand? Oh, they drew the Urborg too. That must be so sad that I just magus them. I gotta get what? Like Ballista on one? I don't think that's good enough. That's definitely not good enough now. Alright, 2-0. I have not been updating this record. That seems fine. And an extension, or and by extension, roasted DT, precisely. So all we're here to do is roast DT. Oh, that's like really fucking good. Like really fucking good. Spell pierce, spell snare, DRC consider EI. Take your consider. Pain death. Village rights. I'm gonna take your EI. Pretty happy taking their card selection spells, especially with them being stuck on one land. I got to hold this in hand. Pitch it to Fury. So they do have two answers to it in hand. They have the Spell Pierce and the Spell Snare. Seems very greedy. I guess we're trying to raise mayhaps. Combo bombardment does not look good in this matchup, especially when they turn on delirium off of nothing. But if they just play their Ragavan and I can draw a red card, then they're not gonna be in good shape at all. Red card. Red card. Village rights. Hmm. They can spell pierce me, but I think that's fine. I'm just looking for Fury at this point. So I'm happy to pay the two. I'm just looking for red card for Fury. Bing. I'm gonna hold this in my hand. Bend to counterspell, play the land pass. Right. Oh, I could have made a 5 5. Shit, missed opportunity. So, I guess I'm going to. Cast a rebirth here and then ping this. Bring it back, take a card from them. I'm going to four, which is a little bit risky. Spell pierce, spell snare. I think I take the spell snare. Definitely don't want to go to three though. If I can avoid it. Unless I'm making a 5-5, five, five, maybe. 
Hold up, maybe we cook? Maybe we make 5-5? Five five? Oh, they're just dead, right? I think they just died. Yeah, they realized they just died. They're like, oh shit. Shouldn't have fetched. Oh, well, took game one over Murktide, which is kind of impressive, but they kept a really bad hand. And we drew the nuts. Um, this deck does have sweet lines. No, I didn't do the 3 a.m. one. I did not. Wait until we face off against Enchantress. Guess this hand is significantly better. Put back Swamp. Not sure what we're supposed to put back there, but I do want to draw an Undying Effect. That'd be really nice. Maybe we have that same great opener that we had last turn, last game. I might just cycle like three cards out of my hand. I might just like Grief, Bitch Blood Guest, Village Rides it. Then we get like a pretty much turn one discard spell. I guess I could pitch grief now. I'd rather still pitch blood guest. Counterspell, counterspell, ledger shredder, lightning bolt. I'll take the ledger shredder. Damn. Should have taken uh, anything but the Ledger Shredder. If they tapped out for Ledger Shredder here, they'd just be so dead. Fine though. You just play Unlucky Witness and play it slow. I don't think they want to counterspell an Unlucky Witness. Oh my god, they counterspell Unlucky Witness. That's the best Unlucky Witness of all time. When are we going to play Delver in Modern? Never. In Legacy? I don't know. Next time we play Legacy. I was lucky to witness that. Yeah, we're just going to play this game slow. Don't really need to do anything drastic. I can probably take the other counter spell out of their hand, though. I got the other counter spell. So they have Bolt and two unknowns. Yeah, Bragavon. Mayhem Devil. I'm gonna cast the Devil. Sure. Guess I crack this, take two points of damage, and then Fury it. They have Bolt, so they're gonna Bolt plus Dash Ragavan. I have a whole lot else going on. You know, maybe I wait a turn. I'm taking so much damage, though, if I wait. I don't think I get to wait. But if I didn't get to wait, then... I could feign death the Mayhem Devil. After I feign death the Mayhem Devil, I get it back. It would be a sweet line, but I don't get the luxury of doing that. Is it really Fury value if they got that card for free? Oh. Dash. I might have to make a 5-5 five five here. Just to stay alive. Feels pretty bad. Hold on to this land. Sacrifice everything for a 5-5. Five five. Watch it get unholy heated. Be sad. Right, they're taking a bunch of lands from me, which I guess is a pretty good thing. I'm going to hold off on making the 5-5 five five for as long as possible. I don't want to make this 5-5. Five five. I believe they have a Spell Pierce in hand. They have Raghavan, Spell Pierce Unknown. Maybe it's a Spell Snare. Luckily, they are drawing all the bad cards, so we don't have to draw them. Now oh, they have a Fury. Okay, that's a pretty good one. I don't think I'm recovering from that. Unless I draw a Fury of my own. Fury of my own? Convenient.
when they counterspell. All right, we died. Three counterspells, too much. Not easy. Abandoned ship, not easy. There's a lot of counterspells. They even like spewed a counterspell to counter an unlucky witness, which was the craziest part to me. They're like 1-1. One, one. No 1-1s one, here. This deck really has no graveyard hate, huh? We just have a bunch of terminates. No other answers to Merc Dad. Absolutely no answers to Breach. Oh, these hands look terrible. Uh, I guess I'll put back this. Good news, they're also on the mulligan. Bad news, we have no turn one play. That plan, go. Start on Odawara. I don't know if we're gonna run out of Ledger Shredder. I'm just gonna hold up counter magic. Dashing a Ragavan onto. It's uh, one of the weaker plays I've seen. I think I'm gonna bin Fury Land. It's a tough call. And I'm gonna draw into another land. Honest for binning the Fury. Really wish I had that Fury now. I think I drove another Spyro. Pitch like Rockvine Grief. That's not terrible. I might just like surprise kill him out of nowhere. Manage to get lucky. I think land's my best draw. If I draw land, I can go like Bloodgast, Bombardment. Maybe not in that order. Depends on which land I draw. I have like a million answers for this. I mean, they don't have a million answers. Wow, they don't have an answer. Wild. I'll let him connive to draw too. Hmm. And still good draw though. That plan's fine, I guess. Like, I need to swing. I think I'm gonna hope to bait them into swinging with Treader, and then I can just like kill them. I have a Merc Dad thinks it's a little bit more complicated. Which seems like they do. Would love to find a Terminate. Let me go Unlucky Witness. Ping Ragster. Attacks with both. I feel like I might need every point going upstairs. So this is going upstairs. This is also going upstairs. Yeah, I think it's a full-on race at this point. Land would be insane. Would love a land. I'm gonna have to think about what, how exactly I want to sequence that. Not quite the land I had in mind. I think I start off on pitching grief here. But what do I want to do it on? Two, four, six, sack. I want to make sure the mayhem devil resolves. I think I want to start on the grief. And miss out on one point of damage. I can't assume that this devil's gonna resolve. It's not going to. Good chances are that they have a counter magic. Piece one piece of counter magic or removal. I need to take from them. So twelve coming across here. That's down. I don't think that's so bad for me at all. Two, four, six, eight, ten. I'm one short of lethal. If they attack me with a ledger shredder and the Merc Tide, I'm dead to a bolt. How many bolts have they used? 
one. Oh, they're dead. Wait, no. Not mustering the LCQ. I need to work in between rounds, so. Are they dead? No, they're not dead, right? How's dress town work? When it sacrifices. Do I get the trigger? No. I think they live by one. I have to sack three things to send it at Ledger Shredder. But then am I confident I could win the next turn? Two, two, three. I would have to win the next turn. I'm just going to take the damage. I don't think I can win the next turn. Alright. I risked it and lost. Gambled and lost. I need one more point. I recommend taking it out. Let me put up my hindsight glasses. Let me show you my sideboard of the recent one. This is my sideboard for an unknown metagame. I like the Thought Seizes and the Necromanches for combating creativity. I have the Nile Spell Bomb for decks like Fair Breach and other graveyard centric decks like Living End, for example. Uh, the two copies of Torok are for elementals and any sort of control deck, as well as being a fine blocker against Hammer. You get the one copy of a Braid to deal with Hearse in the Murktide matchup, as well as being a flexible card against Hammer. One Terminate also for Murktide. You got the two Hearses for Murktide as well. Two Fables come in for whenever the Blood Moons are bad, and then three EEs for cleaning up Rhinos, Hammer, or whatever. Shieldred's not good. I would not play Shieldred. I think that card is very bad modern. After extensively playtesting it, I'm not a fan. Looks like we're going to die here to Glimpse. Yeah, Torox good for living end as well. She cast it as two mana threat. Pretty much every time I played Shieldred, I wish there was anything else. Nice. They downgraded. No problem. Hope that helps a little bit. I think I... Thing. I was really hoping one of these would be a land. Guess I got to clear the top two, and I get to grief scam them, so it's not that bad still. I want to do that now. Not even gonna do that now. I'm just gonna play it as a land. Yeah, it'll happen sometimes. I'm just gonna let this happen. A lot of block. I don't know if it really matters. I guess I should have just sacked the token, pinged this, and then like hit him for two, and then made another token. And that probably would have been the same thing. I think that actually would have been the same exact thing, but getting two points in, I should have done that differently. Bonk. Ah, yes. One with the multiverse. So it did next turn. They need to have like the best glimpse. Doesn't seem like the best glimpse. I right, scooped. All in Cascade. Do I have any sideboard card for all in Cascade? I guess Magus the Moon's fine. Can we take out. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe a couple goblin bombardments. And seems fine to unlucky witnesses. Call it a day. Maybe this hand was a mulligan. Maybe it just doesn't do enough. Playing around by Blood Moon. 
which is good for them, not for me. Hmm, should we listen to him? Maybe some cadence of Hyrule? Let's grief them, and then village rights. Take one of the two shardless agents and hope to get lucky. Second grief, another piece of discard. I think we died. They had two. What's up, Janini? Janini, I must say, the Majora's Mask playlist you put me on, fantastic. Was jamming out to that earlier. Yep. That's uh not very good opponent. Yeah, such a sick playlist. I think I should probably fury one of these away. And Janini, doing something useful. Hey, Janini's got good taste. In jokes and in music. So I still get hosed by Violent Outburst, but... Nobody plays Violent Outburst. Except for this opponent. They get shuffled back into their deck. Opponent got very unlucky. Must kill them as quickly as possible. Alright, they're dead next turn. So they need, have one turn to draw a Violent Outburst, and they have to kill me. Uh, yep. I'm gonna need that one, and that one. <laughs> I was wild watching that. I was like, huh? It's kind of nuts. How do I shuffle like this on MTGO? I would like to know that too. Yeah, that person was the level 2 judge. That was wild to me. <laughs> Palm their opener, nice. Sick. Who posted that? I'll link it in chat. My scam card. Must be playing Jun. I just I would like to not get Ren and Sixth. I'm gonna get running sixth. Level three judge now, promoted. Let's go, promotion. Bang, bang, bang. They just jam out another blood guest. Yeah, how many cheaty faces have you stuck into play? Legend has it, DT is the cheaty face master. I hear he pulls a fast one from time to time. Gets a little cheaty face in commander. That's interesting. I guess... I guess I pitch this. Do some drawing. I'm actually going to hold that land in hand. Reason being is that I can attack and then bombardment and then sack both, land, sack both, land, sack both. Oh, it seems kind of crazy to me. I think they're just dead if I do that. Sack both, huh? How do you push a ghost? That's a good question. Blood ghost. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> it's not blood ghost. Got a virtual two right now. Got a virtual scoop right now. All right, Jund. I guess take Magus. I'll probably be fine. I might not want against Jund. I don't like all these cards against Jund. 
I go down a bombardment. Maybe I want three Magus for murdering Saga. Mr. Streamer Man reporting for duty. It's me. Oh, I never. I haven't been updating the record. I've been totally forgetting. Twenty three and one. I think I have to commit murder. But I don't really want to show him the Magus. In a weird spot. I guess I will show him the Magus. I don't know. It's right to fury that. But I feel like with a Blood Moon effect in my hand, I should. Alright, things went south very quickly. Maybe they don't have a Ren 6. Super Copium. Turns out that Fury was a mistake. I was not prepared for the second Ragabon. Could have been prepared. Tracker, Tracker, Fable. What a hand they just revealed to me. On a dash here, I was trying to block. I don't think dashing does anything productive. I could try to get lucky and hit like a removal spell off the top of their deck, but it's so like narrow. It's so risky. Looks like we're gonna die being stuck on two lands. Their case is in an hour and a half, or the LCQ is in an hour and a half. Fury one time. Fury. Land. It's all awkward. Every part of these maguses are going to be awkward. But they have a bolt too. Yeah, I think we just go next. Let's have that bolt, man. Yeah, I'm just going to go next. I can't beat these tireless trackers. Tireless Tracker confirmed good when your opponent does nothing. The one and only time Tireless Tracker will be good. <laughs> Most cards are good when your opponent does nothing, true. I hate Tireless Tracker so much. Such a bad card. And I'll die on that hill. It's a risky hand. Very risky hand. Honestly, I thought this was a swamp when I kept it. Alright, looks like it's gonna work out. Especially if we draw land. Okay. That was too much to ask for. Age desk. Ragavan, Terminate, Ren and Six. Kinda just wanna take Ragavan and hope they don't draw a green source. <laughs> I'm just gonna hope they'll draw another land that makes color. The best plan. Well, they can't cast either of those cards. So. We're going to get our temporary value while we still can. I blow up. Nothing relevant. Sad times. I don't think I care about the cage or the desk. I would love to blow up Urza Saga, though. Esper went terribly. I went 1 3 drop. Assuming they break down lands. They do have to sacrifice, try to hit a land, and then Ren ping, probably. Bet shock ping? I'm living up Terminate. Hmm. Nope. What with the Ren? Wonder. 
if I'm just supposed to Mayhem Devil attack them instead of Ren. I feel like this Ren is probably too strong. So he gets to get back Urza Saga. Maybe I should have griefed that Terminate out of their hand. If I did that and attacked them, I would have been at 5 right now. I would have taken 5, been at 3. I should have put him to three. Saga. Four. Mm. To zero. Working on that. I can't scam. They have a graph digger's cage. MTG bot's broken. So there's no deck command right now. I can show the list after this match. I could crack the fetch. Grief them. Kill the goblin shaman that way. Attack him for three, put him to four. Yeah, that's probably for the best. This faint death effect is useless. I don't know if that's right. If I should just put him to two. And leave him with the Goblin Shaman. Bin two lands, they drew another. I actually have to jump here if they don't have anything. They're gonna sack this, take two. They can't crack this fetch anymore. They're only working with three mana here. Flip the fable. It's fine. It might equip Shadow Spear to it. Tireless Dragger. Pass. And that's the game. Let's kill him with the Croakson style. Boop. Oh, we almost 5 0 Such a close match against Merc Ted. So close. Let's crack a couple chests here. Why is it yeah, still legal? That's a good question. Here's the deck list. Hello, Magic Online. Allow me to select all my sideboard and put it in one place. That'd be fantastic. There you go. That's the deck list. Have you peaked? Bing bong, bing bong, bing bing bong. Have you peaked? You're a third rate duelist. I can't take it anymore. <laughs>